What's going on guys? Welcome back. Video for you. Do me a favor to like button, subscribe button, criticism in the comment section. Twitter, Shutdown Safety is my username. For all of you that wanted the cooking videos, if you look the upload back, you will find it there. I just did my first one. Appreciate you supporting that. Obviously, if you look around the landscape of the sim football community, a lot of channels aren't really getting the views that they used to get. Uh, mine included, specifically around this time of year, where generally this is the, the biggest time, you know, pre and post Madden release. And I don't know what that is. I don't know if people have given up on the game. I don't know if people have gotten complacent with the game. I don't know if people love the game so much they don't need to watch videos anymore. But nevertheless, in, in a time that really used to drum up the most views, a lot of people are seeing significant drops, although I'm not seeing as significant as many people are. That's why I wanted to just take a minute to preface this whole conversation with a special thank you to those guys that continue to come up and show support. I will continue to do my part by putting out videos probably every day for the next three months, including one tonight. But this is a little bit more important than a Madden breakdown, okay? You guys all know we've got some players coming in the community bringing products with them. One of them's already on the market with Danny Jugan's Axis Football. The other one's in development, Cal Anderson's Dynamic Football. So two days ago on Twitter, Cal comes out with a tweet that says, we don't need a damn Kickstarter or money. Community, get me a good AI dev and we have a new football experience. Everything else is in place. Now, before I get into Danny Jugan's response, you have to understand on some level, these games will compete with each other. Now, granted, I don't view it as a competition the way maybe Madden and 2K are because, in fairness, the price point of these games is so low that as a member of the community, you, or me for that matter, have the opportunity to purchase both games and not have a significant loss of income. You know, you may be able to pick both of these games up in theory for less than you would pay for your copy of Madden 17. So I, I see that they're in competition with each other, but I don't think it's to the same level nationally because these are just really small independent games. You know, no matter what we want them to be, they're, they're still just independent games, which to me in a way makes the competition that much more valuable because they're all kind of trying to get up a mountain, if you will, and get to a bigger place where their games are more well known. However, you could always say that a rising tide lifts all boats, and I was really impressed and, and honestly taken back by the fact that Danny Jugan responded, hit me up if you need some help with the AI. I teach some game AI classes here. I can at least tell you the mistakes that I made. The interesting part of this for you is whenever I put up a video of one of these products, Someone will post in the comment section, why don't they all just join together? Why doesn't Danny and Cal merge their game together to make the best football game they can? And I don't speak to either one of them on that level. I don't care about their business models. It's not my job to. They're both relatively successful human beings. So I trust they have their own visions they're carrying out. And probably hence the reason they don't want to combine them. But for one person to, for free I'm assuming offer to help another person in the same field. I'm also going to assume that Danny teaches these classes at a charge, not for free, but he's trying to make his competitor's game better. He's trying to better a game you will eventually have in your hands in addition to his to make your experience better. And I, again, know it's not on the same level of 2K and Madden, but I can't ever imagine another gaming company going and saying, hey, Madden, I know you've got a problem with your physics. We're a company called Backbreaker, and we're just going to give you the Euphoria engine so that your consumers can like the game better and the community will have a better product. Would have never happened. And I know it's a lot smaller scale, but still, it's interesting that this took place, and I would really love to know how you guys feel about it. To me, it says more about Danny as a person than it does as a gaming developer. But again, these are companies that are pushing out products that are working together, at least now in some facet, to get the best game they can in your hands. I appreciate you guys, again, checking this video out. You know that I'll be back later tonight with more content. Thank you again for checking this video out.